How have awards and accolades validated your work and your mission? At this point, I feel like it just helps me realize I, you know, I'm going in the right direction, but it doesn't necessarily change anything major for me. I'm, now that I'm so clear on what I'm doing, yeah. the awards and the accolades are like an extra, an extra bonus. Yeah. You know, it's like, it's nice, but before I felt like I was almost choosing what I would do uh -huh. based off of awards and accolades to some extent. Yeah. Uh, because that that would be the you know be a great thing to do to get this award or get that, and now I feel I'm more along the lines of I'm so clear on my mission, I'm so clear on the purpose and what I need to accomplish. Fantastic! They're just not nearly as important to me, I think. And you're meeting some other people that are part of those communities. Do you feel like you're you share similar views and there's more work to do? So we come from completely different areas. When I got inducted in the Texas Women's Hall of Fame, Sandra Day O'Connor, she was one of the recipients. There's people in the, the colonels in the military. They We all came out of so many different disciplines. Again, it's like an amazing opportunity to meet fantastic, accomplished people, mm -hmm. but definitely coming from, from very different backgrounds. Mm -hmm. And I feel like also at this point, I'm so overwhelmed with, I feel like I'm constantly meeting such amazing people yeah. that I don't even have time to get to to get to know anybody anymore. Yeah, right. And so almost the journey almost feels lonely at times because I'm overwhelmed with amazing people that I can't follow up with. Right. It's as absurd, it is absurd as it sounds. And I know that's a choice. I mean, yeah. don't get me wrong. You, you create how busy you are, but there's always the next thing that I'm going to, the next thing I'm leaving um, for... And I, you know, I joke, I, when people, they, I mean, I go to events all the time, I'm speaking, people give me their business cards and say, I'll follow up. And I have such good intentions. I really want to, I write it down. But by the time I get back, I'm already, there's the next one where I meet, you know, 15 other people. And then I go back and I go to the next one. So in, in a lot of ways, yes, it's, I mean, it's fascinating. It's amazing, but it's also just completely overwhelming to be around, you know, just meet all these amazing people all the time. <laughs> yeah, you, you, you wish for all that sometimes to come and you, you get it and you're like, I feel more isolated and more lonely than, than ever. Yeah, and I've heard that from several people, which I thought was interesting. I wouldn't have, someone said it to me today, actually. She said, I was saying how wouldn't it be nice to be able to connect a little bit more with people geographically because we, mm -hmm. it was several of us that travel a lot. And she said, yeah, sometimes it gets lonely. And I hadn't thought of it that way. And I was thinking, that's exactly what I mean. I mean, I mean, it feels lonely somewhere all along the lines, even though you're constantly with such amazing people.